Yes, so guys, we are at Casavera Lounge. Actually, it's a big one located in JCG. Okay. Uh, Casavera Lounge uh, is located on Ngong Road. Uh, we are uh, at uh, Kaburu Drive intersection. Kingia Ivi, Ukunyuma, Kuna Kilimani, but when you're on Ngong Road, Utona to uh, Bilbodu Kubo Apo, uh, Casavera Lounge next to Busy Bee Car Wash. Uh, uh, up and dani, we offer very many services. There are drinks, we have drinks inside, Utapata cocktails, beer buckets on specific days. We also bring uh, guest DJs, my DJ Okubo Kubo, and DJ Oku DJ Mo, DJ, uh, DJ John Falme, DJ Katrix, uh, DJ Nick D. What on a Kujanga to Kusana? Uku Nikupika Shere. Uku uh, India on the streets, they call us Shere headquarters, and when you look around, you realize why we are Shere headquarters indeed. And uh, we have enough of uh, uh, good things to go around. We have uh, Nyamachoma, we have Kukuchoma, we have Mbuzi on rotation anytime, any day. Maybe move along to Angalia, the area Kidogo, just the area Venyeiko. Actually, as you can see, there is a Manyamachoma. If you are interested in any, you just come here at Kasa. Yeah, we are here to do our interview with DJ P. Scratch. Yeah, Yes, hello, hello guys. Welcome back to WCJ Online TV. As usual, this is your number one online channel, bringing you stories of different people from different parts of the country and bringing you the reality of the world today. And today, I'm with the world's famous DJ, like uh, DJ, DJ P. Scratch. Nikonaya yeah. Paivi, we want to, to know more about him. You know, these DJs who are in the future, tent, like... Uh, we get to know musicians, but we don't get to know DJs who play their music. Hi, DJ P. Scratch. I'm very fine. My name is DJ P. Scratch, a.k.a. the Party Starter. Yes. Party Starter. Okay, maybe uh, we can start, you can brief us with the history of uh, DJing. Ulianza Lini, like keyboard. Uh, DJing, I started back in 2011. Uh, I, I came to Nairobi. I met a few guys who helped me left, right. Uh, not forgetting DJ Joe. Actually, DJ Joe is my teacher and another guy by the name DJ Simon. Uh, currently, he's in uh, Qatar right now. Yeah, that's when I also joined Maseno. And uh, from there, my career just took off. Yes. You joined Maseno as a? As, as, a, as a teacher. Teacher. <laughs> okay, so maybe we can talk about that. Why did you start, uh, decide to leave teaching and go for DJing? Okay, DJ, uh, DJing uh, supported me while while I was uh, in Maseno. For example, I'll do small shows uh, like birthday parties. Na na party wa 500 bob, na party wa 1000 bob. So I started, hapo ndo nikajuliza, eh, hey, hii kucheza mziki kumbi na zanipati ya pesa. There's nothing good as kucheza kufanya kitu unapenda, then unapata reward at the, at the end of the day. Unanelewa. So hapo ndio nikanza tu ku, ku, ku DJ, uh, people started knowing me in Maseno, and then peer shows, peer zikikuja, uh, uh, the admin walikuwa na prefer, I be their DJ. Pole 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 hivyo pia, and then nika storm kwa kisumu market. Hapo pia ndio nikanza kupata gigs za club, etc, etc. Yeah. So then you decided DJing is better than teaching? No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, let me just break it down for you because, you know, in teaching, before you get absorbed in a government, you have to toil. Like, for example, unandikwa na BOG. Is it BOG or BOM? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, kisha andikwa hapo, you work for you work for the whole month, then you get 15,000, 20,000. And then, you know, DJing, you only person who has a night when you're DJing. Like, for example, just do it for three, three to four hours, then you, you, you can even get it even more. Yeah. It, it depends on the package, okay? Like, for example, I remember there was a time I was, in, I, I was teaching in a, where I was posted in, a, in Moroni. Uh, am I allowed to say the name? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> 
So there's a day, and remember that day, that week I was on duty. So I decided to to tell one of my uh, one of my colleagues, nikamwambia maze, chukua 500 unishikilie duty bana, because nikona shows from Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Remember, I had a show in Nakuru on Thursday. I had a show in Kisumu on on Friday. I had a show in uh, in uh, Eldoret on Saturday. So remember, these shows I was paid. Then upon the, uh, by the uh, upon the uh, akiliangu it can change because uh, each show on Thursday I was paid like twenty five thousand. Show at Kisumu I was paid like twenty thousand. Show at uh, Eldoret I was paid like thirty five thousand. Then when I when I got uh, 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 the total sum. Nikajuliza, what am I doing here? Because <laughs> this amount, you cannot get it uh, 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 before wandikwe kwa... Atu kisha andikwe, you cannot get that total amount within that a short period of time. Yeah. yeah. Apono nika decide, eh, I think I'm really overworking here. Let me just get something yenye. Itanipatia pesa raka raka. Because at the end of the day, kila muta anatafuta pesa. Okay. Yeah. So which, when is this moment in your my play, my fanya DJing, and you felt like this was the best one? Actually, there's never the best moment. But uh, what, what, what I can say, you can replace it emotional. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so the emotional moments in DJing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the emotional moment was uh, when, I was doing, uh, when I was the winner for Safaricom Tuaweza, best DJ Kisumu Nyanza, Western Circuit. Then I was DJing uh, in front of uh, 13,000 crowd. 13,000 crowd in Kisumu. That was, I think, it was so emotional for me because uh, uh, despite the fact that uh, previously I'd, I'd, I was facing a lot of challenges in life, so many things were going on, and, uh, you know, I didn't even expect I'll be there. So luckily, Pia Nikaji Patapo, I did my thing, and it was so emotional for me, and it, 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 it was like a jump starter for me. Because I, I was not DJing, you know. So it was so, so emotional for me. And that's, I salute Safaricom for that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I hosted a certain d upcoming DJ yeah. in my channel. And he was like, uh, there's a moment when you end up DJing, DJ Ngoma, then you don't see people hyping for the music. Has it ever happened to you? Like you on a chapatun goma, you feel the vibe, but you don't see people hyping for it. You know, I always say, Sasingine, as a DJ, you can feel that Leoni me chapangoma, Leoni me chapangoma. Where any una feel me chapangoma, but the crowd I could feel. But kuna si kuingine una feel eh, mazel Leo na kuna chenye ni me chapa. Then una patam se kwa crowd na sema eh, Leo me chapangoma. So what, I can sum it up by saying, uh, kuna 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 na bad bad days in office. Bad days in office and good days in office. And DJs always, you must be, lazimu kwange tuna good days in, uh, in office. Because anytime you have a bad day in office, that energy is transferred to the crowd. Even the music selection you'll choose. You will choose the music selection according to how you're feeling. Yeah, so, DJ, ata kama umekosawa na mtu wapi. But whenever you step in, in whenever you, you are behind that deck, your mood has to change. Just like the news anchors. Hata kama mepigwa wapi, hata kama meslapiwa behind the, yeah. behind the camera. But immediately that camera imekuja mbele yako, you have to smile. Yeah. yeah, you have to smile. People people don't care about what has happened to you. People want to listen to what you have to say. Just like DJing, people want to listen to what you have to play. Uh, no matter what change imekufanyiki hapo awali. Yes. There's, as in DJs, people want to face any challenges because you enjoy life too much. My, my drinks too is in a letter if, while you <laughs> DJ. There, is there any challenge that you face in DJ? Challenges are in the mahali. Kila industry kuna challenges and uh, the degree in the sasa na matter. So, like uh, challenges are my DJs, unapata, for example, kupata gigs. Maze. Most DJs, kupata gigs ni ngumu. You can't, you know, as a DJ, as for me, vile nikona club hapa kasavera, it's a privilege because unapata, at the end of the month, there's something in naingia kwa pocket, unanelewa. But sasa, imagine ule DJ mwenye, ana club, ana anatafuta gigs, a DJ can even go a whole month, even a whole year without a gig, unanelewa. So those are the kind of challenges. And also, we can also talk about some challenges, unapata DJs pia, kuna wenye wana decks, wana laptops, wana pesa za kununua hizi vitu, unanyelewa. So those are very big challenges. Then kuna challenges pia zingine zenye ma DJs pia wana jitakia tu. For example, unapata, he's a very good DJ but, ye na pombe wa wachani. 
Unadelewa. Yeye na pombe wa chali. So inaribu job. Unapata DJ he's supposed to be at work but at the same time amelewa. So that's that's a big challenge a big challenge to other DJs. Another challenge pia ni story ya madem. Cuz mmoja wao sana fikirenga tu when you're a DJ you'll get all uh, um, all, 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 all the attention ya mademi na kwa kwa DJ. Kwa zinu mademi wanapenda kukua uh, ku, ku identify na wase mse mwenye anajulikana. So dema na feel tu mazee mini ki kwa beshte huyu DJ nitajulikana. Unanelewa. Mademi wanapenda attention sana. So uh, just like DJs. Unanelewa. So ka, as a DJ you need to carry out yourself. Kuna tu boundary nye nafu ufiki unasema mimi up to hapa. People should, people should know that mini kifika hapa siyezi pita hapa. Even the ladies, and also treat ladies with, uh, with respect, because uh, you, you are dealing with uh, drunkards. Especially Sazulu Kukwa Club. Just treat everybody with the respect. Just be humble, treat everybody with respect. Because you nani mziki. And you never know who is watching. Yes. Okay, maybe umeongelele the ladies and you know by there I was talking to my friend and she was like nikikuja hapa a question yenye nisitokee bila kuuliza ni status. <coughs> status yangu? Yeah. Uh, ladies are crashing out here. <laughs> <laughs> my status. Ah uh, eh lazima nijibu hiyo. We can pass but sasa <laughs> najua. Okay. Uh, status I just love everybody. <laughs> okay, so for the person who asks that question, when I shoot your shot, cause he loves everybody. Yeah, you're, so, welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes. Okay, maybe to Kimalizia, you can tell us how do you find your Izo Mango Mazako and your many DJs. Ah, okay. Um, another thing, Pia, was self career. We download music from YouTube. We don't download music from YouTube because uh, uh, we always have sites. We always have sites. Uh, like me, there's a site. There are two sites. I pay, I pay one site, I pay 2,500 per month. The other one, I pay 1,500. So after, after, after one month, uh, we wanna end uh, subscription in, 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 in Aisha. So you have to pay another 2,000. 500 and then the other one you have to pay 1,000. The reason why we pay for these things is because me, I work on TV K24 every Wednesday 5 to 6 p.m. Kenyan hits. So unapata, for example, there are certain music zenye, uh, that uh, we cannot show them on TV. But through that site, we have to take it such a way that and I feature those uh, uh, the nude the nude parts one one of these stories are matako ni ni zina so that's where uh, that's where that's why we pay for those things because doing that work is so so difficult you can't do that for all mu all music videos so kun unapata kuna wase wenye wameji wameji establish such a way that you and your kazi yao ana, ana, ana edit these videos so that it gives us very e easy work when when DJing on TV and radio yeah so we pay for we pay for our music uh but once, once in a while, pia kama uyu mse ana yongo ma yenye, uh, yenye, yenye, for example, unazapata, si ati akona ngoma all the songs, unazapata ati a client anataka ngoma, na iyo ngoma yiko kwa iyo site. Itabidi tu, umenda kwa YouTube, uka download. So we, 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 we always use YouTube when, especially when there's some agency. Yes, when there's some agency, ndi hapo tunaingia YouTube, araka raka, na tuna nini. Yeah, but we don't download our music from YouTube because we, people always think that, uh, we all the DJs always think that YouTube videos are a bit low quality kidogo. Yeah. So maybe me, uh, the music ukisha come up with the niniako mix yako kachapa. Can you post it on YouTube? Ama ineza kwa na copyright. Yeah, um that has been a very big challenge, uh, especially even at Amimi because kuna I, there's a, a time I started uh, doing video mixes and uh, I will post even if, let's ata to see even just facebook live when we used to do facebook live ukenda to live even unapata you are being flagged off because unapata copyright issues okay uh, unapata unacheza ngoma ya mse then huyo mse kwa email yake anapata 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 information that somebody is using his music so as 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 if approve utumie you will be flagged off so cuz wanafikiria unatengeneza pesa na na music yeah without their knowledge unanelewa but aki approve I can approve uh, the music uh, you will not be flagged off. So we have uh, certain artists when you're called, you cannot play their music on, uh, on social media. 
uh, you know them, but I cannot tell Brown, I cannot Saudi soul. You can never play their songs because if you ukijaribu TV kidogo, you are being flagged. That's why you penda calligraphy. Sana calligraphy na sema mimi mimi na watole angoma muskize chese ni ngoma danelewa. So uh, that has been a very big challenge. Even uh, when when you come to YouTube, unapata YouTube is even worse because unapata uh, um, immediately you put your music and then wanapata first warning. When I put a second warning, third warning, in fact, if you need to go plus subscribers, what you are to and then you'll be blocked from, you'll be blocked. All your work will be blocked from YouTube, so you cannot access it. Has it ever occurred to you? Yeah, it has occurred. So me, nilipatua warning ya kwanza, warning ya pili. Eh, nika sema bana pana. This, ama subscribers when you know what dogo, staki wapote. Sir, so I decided. That's why Saizi. Actually, that's why Saizi. I'm I'm really focusing on Kenyan music, Sana, because not so many of them will be will be will be blocked. But I can't. When when I'm doing my mixes, I always try to exclude Otile and uh, Saudi Soul because immediately your mix has those songs. Songs I was say, you'll be flagged off anytime. Yes. So maybe you have to contact them first before you sing their music. They they rarely even pick phone calls. <laughs> they can't even pick your phone calls. After we were sending a text, they they will not do anything. Yeah, they'll just look at you there. They'll not even respond. So, I, I, uh, to, to avoid to avoid unnecessary unnecessary uh, pressure, just avoid their songs. But Kwa TV will play their songs. Kwa clubs will play their songs. We'll play their songs everywhere. But when it comes to social media, it's a bit tricky for us. Yes. Yeah. Okay, maybe so you can tell us your YouTube channel so that if maybe there are some mix there, we can go and find them. Over there. I, I have uh, various uh, channels uh, 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 where you can get my mixes. First of all, uh, you can do uh, mixcloud.com. You search P Scratch. P Scratch. P Scratch. P Scratch with K, not C. <laughs> then uh, on YouTube, I have, uh, I think, some few mixes. Uh, it's a TV. Then. Uh, just search P Scratch Kenya, P Scratch underscore Kenya. Then on Facebook page, P Scratch Kenya. Then uh, we also have Hear This. It, it, there's, a, there's a channel called Hear This. Hear this .com. So you can also search P Scratch. P Scratch, you'll get so, uh, some, some of my mixes there. Now, there. There was a question I forgot to ask. Yeah. Monu Ligita P Scratch? <laughs> um, it was a, it's a long story. Okay, P Scratch came originally. My name was DJ P, DJ P P P. You know what P stands for. So um, there's a competition I entered. Then I was I was one of the contestants. So um, the judges, when it was my turn to DJ, the judges called me, and they told me, you see that that name P add the word scratch to it so that it sounds p scratch and that's none other than dj styles yeah so from there i just got the name p scratch and it'll fit sana it'll fit sana na my image my face and my my big head <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe a message to your fans uh my fans maze Asanteni sana for always supporting me. Maze, when you are nanunua my hoods, maze asanteni sana, God bless you. Wasu nanani support, sazingine, mwanani sendia kakitu, whenever I go live, asanteni sana. Uh, Wasu nanani kuja kuni support club, all the way from Kisumu, Nakuru, Wapi, Eldoret, maze, asanteni sana. Casavera is the place to be, Shere headquarters, maze. If you are, kamu uja fika hapa, maze, you are really missing a lot. Okay, yes, and uh, to the upcoming DJs, tafadhali, Musingye kwa DJ industry, ama kwa entertainment because of women or because of fame or because of alcohol. You will go down even before you realize it. So know the reason why you are getting in, into entertainment. And you have to know the repercussions. It is never easy. It is never easy. You have to toil. The road is never smooth. It's corner, corner, thorns potholes everywhere and uh, the only thing that will uh, will make you stand out is your passion practice and pray to god okay thank you that's a great advice oh okay by the way you've not told us how we get your wood so tractor kakupata hood uh, uh actually i don't have a channel where I, I, I sell my hoodies but you can get them uh you can just inbox me online on facebook uh, or on instagram p scratch just search p scratch kenya 
on Facebook or Pscratch underscore Kenya on Instagram. Or wase wanyakona namba yangu pia you can sambaza them so that watu wanyakona wanataka hoods. Wanazapata hizo hoods kwa uraisi sana. Yes, the hoods go for 2,500 and if you want a full one, hood plus uh, the, sweat, uh, the sweat pant also, you, you can get them uh, uh, at 4,000 bob. 4,000 bob. Kende. 4,000 only. Pesa otas. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for joining us today. By the way, it was a, such a fun having you in our channel. Uh, I hope you enjoy watching. Who you enjoyed watching, by the way. Subscribe, hit on the notification bell, and uh, until next time, bye bye. Bye bye. Cheers. <laughs>